Good morning, everyone. My name is Dimitar. I'm the CEO of Business Map. Over the years, I've realized that every major release of Business Map isn't just a version number. It's a milestone. It's a tale worth telling. That's why, starting today, each major release will carry its own name, just like books, because each one tells a story and each one represents a leap forward. I'm proud to introduce the first of these. Business Map 12.0, the end of the trade-off. Why this title? If you are a user of any modern work management platform, you probably spend 90% of your time working with boards. And for years, boards have fallen into two camps. They could either manage work with structure and rigor, or they could offer flexible visualization for creativity and collaboration. But you always had to choose one or the other, never both. And that trade-off ends today. With Business Map 12.0, we've rethought the very foundation of our platform, the board, and for the first time, workflows, projects, outcomes and portfolios live side by side with infinite visual capabilities. Discipline, and creativity finally working together. What makes it even better is that this new board is AI native. Unlike tools where AI is bolted on after the fact, AI is built into the experience from the start. It understands your context, it assists where you need it most, and it accelerates your progress. Business Map 12.0, the end of the trade-off, reflects the shift into a new era of work, an era where flexibility and structure, people and AI unite to realize the outcomes that matter. I couldn't be more excited about what we've built, and I cannot wait for you to see it in action. Watch the demo now. Thank you. Even Thanos likes it, to be honest. Welcome to the demo of Business Map 12, what we call the end of the trade-off. This release is all about something completely new, a board type we call AI Canvas. And as you'll see, it's not just a new view, it's a new way of working. Let's dive right in by creating one of these boards. You can use the Canvas as a board type in both management and team workspaces. Let's first give the Canvas a name, end of the trade-off. And even before we've created it, Let's use AI to set the context for the board. For example, describe Toyota's strategy on hydrogen cars. In just seconds, the system creates and generates the auto-generated template. And there we have our strategy visualization. As you can see, we have the strategic vision on the top. We have some strategic objectives, the flagship model such as Toyota Mirai, and even the canvas has visualized notes for challenges and milestones we should achieve. To turn this strategy into action, let's select all objects on the template and use AI to help us generate projects. Let's tell it to make sense of Toyota's strategy on hydrogen cars and generate five projects for next year. Once we generate the notes, we can better structure them on our layout and take a look at what was suggested. For example, let's take the project to launch a heavy-duty commercial vehicle pilot program. And with a right-click, we can convert it into a workflow card. Now keep in mind that even though this is a whiteboard, it still has a main workflow. In other words, you can choose the status of this project. In our case, let's choose Requested and add the card to the board. Once we've done that, each workflow card will have outcomes that you can attach to it. Once again, let's use our best friend today. AI, and generate measurable outcomes for our project. Now we have several suggestions focused on vehicle reliability, operational efficiency, and so on. For the sake of the example, let's say we want to add four of these. They will be visualized on the card, and keep in mind that we've just created them based on the content of the card. Now what about the execution part? Again, with the help of AI, we can generate children for this project. Let's generate two child cards based on one of the outcomes to increase emission reduction. As you can see, we just got two sub-projects with their own outcomes 
which are based on one of the main outcomes on our main project. To make this alignment even more clear, let's create a formula that automatically calculates the current values of the emission reduction outcome from the current values of its contributing outcomes. For example, if we optimize hydrogen fuel efficiency by an index of 10, but for the other outcome, our index is 8, then we can see that the overall annual result will be 18, which will be 60% of our annual target. Another way is to directly click on one of the outcomes and generate children, which will be automatically created based on the main outcome we've selected. Let's craft the prompt to give us three child cards based on the operational efficiency outcome. And just like that, we get those three sub-projects. Before we move on, keep in mind that the connections on the board can be controlled by right-clicking and going to the Canvas settings. For example, you can show your outcomes connections all the time on the board, or you can do the same but for the links structure of the cards. In this case, let's just keep all connections to be visible on selection. All right, now we have visualized the strategic work we need, let's start coordinating it. For this purpose, we're going to upload a workflow from another board and business map, which is our project portfolio coordination. As you can see, we have several steps on the portfolio workflow, which represent the stages that a sample project from our organizational portfolio would go through. Let's click on Portfolio Lane and embed the workflow. Now we can simply take the projects we've just generated and plan them on one of the stages of our portfolio workflow. In this case, the strategic alignment and intake stage. Now, to demonstrate how these projects look on a Kanban view, let's go to the Project Portfolio Coordination Board, and as we can see, the projects just became visible under the strategic alignment and intake stage. If we go back to our canvas, we can take the projects and start planning them across different steps from our portfolio. And if we go back to our board view, we will see that the projects moved exactly where we placed them on the canvas. But planning our portfolios is just one piece of the puzzle. The next one is coordinating work across teams. That's why we've made it possible to connect team workflows to the canvas as well. Let's do that and visualize the processes from Team Hydrogen Factory, Manufacturing, and R&D Labs. When adding the R&D Labs team, pay attention that their workflow is a whiteboard. This means that the system is flexible enough to embed multiple canvases together. Let's also wrap up the team's inside frames to give them a better look on the canvas. As we're done with that, let's pick our portfolio projects and once again we generate child work for the teams. We're going to ask it to create three related team projects for the three teams and see what suggestion it will give us. And just like that, we now have projects or epics that each team can start working on. Let's do our coordination work and place the Hydrogen Factory Team project in Requested. Let's also do that for the Manufacturing project and place it in Requested on the Manufacturing board. Now, if you're working on the team level, let's go ahead in the Hydrogen Factory project board, but this time from the Kanban board view, and start breaking it down into tasks. Once we're done, Imagine that our team now starts working on these tasks. We can do the same for the manufacturing project and also break it down into a bunch of tasks on their respective Kanban board, which the team members can start working on. Once we go back to our main Canvas board, we can see that some of the projects moved to in progress. For more clarity, let's enable to see the entire work hierarchy. We can see how everything from the team to the strategic level has changed its status into in progress. But that's not all, because you can use your canvas to embed the most important performance indicators, reporting dashboards, and many more. Let's now quickly add a few of those to the canvas. For example, we can visualize our workflow performance, inspect lead times, cycle times, and more. We can also take a look at the status of both projects and outcomes across the organization from a single place. 
we can analyze what's going on with our cycle time and if we're getting more predictable with our delivery or not. We can inspect the throughput across teams and more. First, let's click twice on one of the reports and change what data we want to see. And if you're thinking, how am I going to make sense from this information? Don't worry because AI helps you read it. For example, we will get a detailed information about what the chart shows us. But we can also ask questions which we're specifically interested in. For instance, how would our data look if we ignored the 10 largest outliers? The system will do its thinking, and at the end of its response, you will see a conclusion. In our case, removing the 10 largest outliers would make the chart show much more consistent and predictable cycle time. Moreover, AI is now also present inside every card and business map. In other words, we can ask questions about the context of the card. For example, what is this card about? Maybe we're interested to learn what goals does it cover. How about when was the card created? Or what's the top activity I should focus on right now? Well, we just went through an entire strategy execution exercise from top to bottom. So let's recap what we did. We used artificial intelligence to map out Toyota's hydrogen strategy. We generated notes and chose a strategic project to work on. Based on this project, we generated outcomes and relevant sub-project automatically. We connected projects to portfolio workflows, brought in team workflows and broke work down further across the team boards, added analytics, analyzed what these charts are showing us, and even chatted with both charts and work items to get the information that we're really interested in. What we achieved in under 10 minutes with Business Map 12 would likely take you 10 hours and several other tools to replicate. That's why we told you that it's not just another board. It's AI-native, context-aware, and relationship-driven. You can ask it anything about your work, and it helps you move forward faster. And this is just the beginning. Over the next months, we will be adding even more capabilities to make the canvas the most powerful way to plan, execute, and analyze work. Stay tuned, and we hope you enjoyed the demo.